We're also waiting for presumptive Democratic nominee Joe Biden to announce his running mate. We know it's going to be a woman, and many of the women under consideration are women of color. Jennifer Bellamy has a look at how black women are playing a larger role in politics, especially within the Democratic Party. Cheryl Stacey Abrams, Keisha Lance Bottoms, African-American women here in Georgia, whose names we've heard um, frequently mentioned during this VP selection process. But just taking a look at one Georgia county shows how black women are getting to work and making a name for themselves in American politics. Black women have proven to be a strong part of the Democratic Party, considered by many to be among the most reliable and loyal voters. They were credited with reviving Joe Biden's presidential campaign in South Carolina and sending Alabama Senator Doug Jones to Washington in 2017, the first time a Democrat had done that in 25 years. But while they've been described as the party's backbone, black women themselves haven't reached some of those elected heights. While there have been several dozen black women in Congress, there have only been two black women senators elected in history, Carol Mosley Braun in 1992 and Kamala Harris in 2017, and there have never been any black female governors. But over the last few years, black women across the country have increasingly run for and won elections in historic numbers on all levels, and where they didn't win, they've made big strides. The changes are coming in suburban areas where cultures and populations have shifted. Take Cobb County for an example. 40 years ago, in 1980, Cobb was 4.5% African American. Now that number has jumped to 27%. Two years ago, during Georgia's gubernatorial race between Brian Kemp and Stacey Abrams, 51,000 black women in Cobb cast ballots, 20,000 more than the midterm elections four years before. And while Abrams narrowly lost the race, she won Cobb County. That 2018 election also saw freshman Democratic Congresswoman Lucy McBath flip the usually conservative House District. A report on women of color in office from the Center for American Women in Politics found that nationwide, six black women serve in statewide elected offices. 304 have been elected to state legislatures and seven serve as mayors in some of the nation's largest cities. According to Higher Heights for America, a nonprofit working uh, to increase black women's political power and leadership. When it comes to Congress, it's more diverse than ever, but still some argue there's a long way to go with 22 black women serving in the House and one in the Senate out of 535 seats. That's compared, though, to just two years ago when only five black women were elected to Congress.